yes, yes, this will uh, do very nicely. Very nice place you've got. Very uh, chic. <laughs> Nothing like a bourgeois bank robber to remind me of how strange Los Santos has become. In my day, the psychos at least had the dignity to be psychotic. Nowadays, it's all about uh, home furnishings and going straight. All right, you ready? Because this is it. Well, it's, it's not it, but uh, it's something. It's something uh, <laughs> very big. And it's not quite ready yet, but I wanted to uh, see how you're doing. What I've got is a Fleesa Bank franchise. And it's nothing too complicated. There's no buy-in. Now, normally, there would be a buy-in. You would put in money up front, we would arrange the job, and you would pull it off. But this time, I'll uh, cover the upfront costs. Call it the uh, price of getting a look at you. And there's no risk to you. Unless, of course, you count uh, getting locked up or shot. <laughs> so, you ready? And what do you think? You uh, questions, comments, concerns? All right, what are you waiting for? Let's go see this place. There's a fleece of franchise on the Western Highway near Chumash. Take us there. Word of warning, we're on the job right now. So don't let the cops notice you. If they come after us, we call it off. So, my taciturn friends, I suppose you want to know how we're doing this. Well, but you should ask. We're driving out to the bank, taking a look at it, picking up some equipment, and then heading back to make our plans. Not very complex at all. We're not going in, we're not poking it with a stick. We're just sitting back and taking a look. You see, uh, I like my scores, like I like my dates. Across the street and unaware they're being watched. <laughs> Light. Light if your daydreams are raids on the Union Depository. Quite heavy if your day job is turning over liquor stores and gas stations. And the bonds in the box will be worth more than a few rumpled notes from a till, so the minor escalation is worth it if you can handle it. Plus, you know, the sea view. <laughs> Nothing like staring at the ocean while you contemplate money and power and incarceration and homicide. Yeah, all those weighty issues surrounding your first foray into serious armed robbery. I'm assuming you're kind of a cerebral group, because otherwise... No, not talking deal just kind of puts you on the spectrum, right? <laughs> okay, well, how about we just get there and see where we're at? There it is. Take a look. Hmm. What are we looking at? Um, small joint, not much security. Staff won't give a crap, <laughs> especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind a safe door. We want box number 167, right on the highway with good access. That works for you. You can get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Okay. You've seen what we're gonna see. Let's go to the garment factory. Now, when you hit the bank, you're gonna need to hack into its security system. I've written a neat little program that'll do most of the work for you, but it's probably a good idea for you to familiarize yourselves with it. You, in the passenger seat, I've sent it to your phone. Now take it for a dry run, keep your hands steady, and maybe the wet run won't be a disaster. I'm calling Paige. She's my assistant. First she's gonna get us what we need, then she's gonna sell me in half. <laughs> Like that one? Uh, you don't. 
make it easy. Paige, it's Lester. The place looked good. Nothing we weren't expecting. Can you get the intel together? Hard copies to go on a notice board. Yeah, plus all the equipment we spoke about. I'll be over to collect it with uh, those people. Yeah. Okay, see you soon. Hey, passenger seat. Did you get into their network? Good work. She's loading the hardware into the back of a truck. Tools for the job, things for you to wear. On a job, your attire will depend on the role you're performing. There's Paige. We're leaving this car, taking the truck. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Paige, we'll set up a board for you, won't you, Paige? <laughs> I'd let you do it if you could reach. I mean, I didn't see any milk crates for you to stand on. <laughs> mm-hmm. The uh, most important thing to look for in an employee is respect. You can't get anything done without respect. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, the room. Now, Paige is setting up this board on which you will plan your scores. You'll use it to uh, set out all the prep work you need to do, uh, select your crew, figure out how the take from a score should be split up. So you need a crew to take a score. But only one person can be in charge. Respect. Hmm? Isn't that right, Paige? Blow me. <laughs> All right, it's blow me. <clears throat> You're only gonna need uh, one thing for this, uh, for this job. It's a high-speed armored car. Now, instead of getting one legitimately and leaving a nice long paper trail to your front door, you're going to be jacking one from a nasty Korean crew and leaving a nice long paper trail to their door instead. <laughs> this is good to go. Hey, here's your board. Good, good, good. And when you're ready to move on the car, go over it. Study the plan. Tick it off the list. You must be methodical. This isn't just a dumb crime. Well, there, there is an element of that, huh? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and when you've got the car, we'll come back here and talk bank jobs. <laughs> Make jobs, make jobs. Almost there. But remember, you can do this however you like, as long as you're careful. If you're not careful, they'll clock you, and then you won't get any choice how this is going down. They're meant to be on the top level of this garage on the north side. So, I see two ways of doing it. You go up the north ramps and hit them hard and quick. Or you go up the south ramps, get in position, and try to get the drop on them from cover.
stop any cops or gangsters or whoever you've got coming after you and bring it to my garment factory. Ah, <laughs> your, uh, your first time. You know, the uh, first times, well, it's never easy. There won't exactly be uh, fireworks, you know? <laughs> it'll, be, uh, it'll be vaguely awkward and uh, disappointing, you know? You'll probably stick the wrong thing in the wrong part, and you'll finish too early, and, and you won't be able to, to make eye contact afterwards. But, uh, but new worlds will, will open up. <laughs> Something will have changed, you know? New... Uh, Opportunities, uh, new risks, <laughs> and that's when you'll remember that old Uncle Lester was here for you, holding your hand, you know, guiding you through it. <laughs> and then you'll feel a little creeped out, but, but you're going to repress it, squash it down, and we'll never talk about it, okay? Okay? Mm. Okay, <laughs> first time, Felisa! Woo! <laughs> it's a two-man score, right? One of you drives, keeps the heat off of you. The other goes into the bank, goes to the specific safety deposit box. Then you get out of there, you get in that fast armored car, and you get the hell out of that place. Then once you're clean, once you got no heat on you, come see me, give me the box, and you get paid. Hmm? Okay. You know, uh, like I said, it is your first time, so, uh, don't expect too much. There are, um, wild, insane, mind-blowing orgies in your future. <laughs> orgies! <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> you know, we all gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Good luck!
trigger the door. Okay, now find the safety deposit box. Show it to me. Yes, it is the holiday season at the Crest Residence, and Daddy's out drinking. <laughs> Say, past. If that thing I talked about comes up, I'll call you in. In the meantime, if anyone comes to me, I'll mention you as a reliable pair of hands. Hey, for the first time, that wasn't bad. But don't get clingy. <laughs> <laughs> 